If you're thinking about purchasing the workbench top for the Bora Centipede workbench, well I was too over a year ago when I bought my 4x6 Centipede, but I didn't pull the trigger because I was trying to save some money. Turns out, wasn't really a great choice. Recently, the team over at Bora Tool was kind enough to send me these workbench tops to give them a shot, and there's a few things that you'll want to know about them before you pull the trigger, and one thing in particular that you will want to know before you make your purchase. For the last year plus, I've been using plywood on the top of my workbench, and it has worked pretty well, but I've had problems with the struts and the P-tops coming out from underneath of my plywood. But these Bora Centipede workbench tops are purpose-made just for the centipede. It connects easily to the top of the struts and the P-tops using these twist lock handles and a cam locking mechanism. It's very easy to insert it from the bottom up through the hole in the P-top and then through the hole in the actual tabletop itself. You simply twist and lock. Each of the tabletops came with six of these twist lock handles. So if you have a four by two centipede, one of these with six twist locks, you can lock it into all six of the P-tops on your six struts. The workbench top is made out of three quarter inch MDF, and it has a little bit of weight to it. The Bora website says that they weigh 28 pounds. When I weighed mine, it was only 21, but that's still a decent amount of weight, especially if you need to move multiple of these around at once. Each workbench top is hinged, which is very nice from a portability perspective. You simply unhinge to put it on top of the centipede, and when you're done and you put it away, hinge it back together, carry it away. My hand fit nicely right in the cutouts that are in the middle of the workbench top when I hinged it, so it is very portable. I found that the dimensions of the tabletop were slightly different than what Bora has on their website. They list 24 inches by 48 inches. My actual measurements were 23 and 7 eighths by 47 and 3 quarters. When you hinge the tabletop for carrying, it's 1 and 3 quarter inches thick. So these are the dimensions that you're going to have to deal with from a storage perspective. And now for two things you really need to keep in mind when you purchase your workbench top. First, you need one workbench top per each 4x2 section of a centipede workbench. So if you have a 4x2 centipede, you need one workbench top. If you have a 4x4, you need two. A 4x6, you need three. And a 4x8 foot centipede, you need four of these workbench tops. Make sure you purchase the right number based on your centipede. And then the one thing that I didn't really consider until I went to install it for the first time is how to connect those middle sections of the centipede workbench top. As I started to connect my workbench tops, the first one went in easily. The second one I had to figure out where I was going to disconnect the first one so that I could get the right pieces of the second one connected. And the same when I went to connect my third. It's important that you space out your twist locks so that you get enough coverage across the holes across your entire bench so it holds them down firmly. So now the question, is it worth the spend to purchase these bench tops in addition to your centipede? And the answer to that question is a resounding yes. I wish that I had bought mine over a year ago, but if you're not sure whether or not the centipede workbench is the right choice for you overall, click or tap on one of these two videos. And until the next time, keep doing it yourself.